Sports Stars Magazine here with Cathedral Catholic legend uh, Yale Commit and a woman who will now be playing for another state championship, the great May Cordes. May, obviously I know how much it meant to, uh, to you and the group to be able uh, to get a little piece of revenge on September 7th, but obviously this is, you know, this is the whole buffet that, that you ladies wanted tonight. To be able to see them in your gym, you know, and, and, and obviously to be able to have it turn out uh, the way it did, how good is this for your soul? Um, it's amazing. I think getting the num number one seed was kind of surprising and it gave us the home advantage and I think we were so happy that we got that and being able to play them here was just amazing. Um, I feel like we had um, a lot of advantages and um, beating them was just the best revenge ever. You, you say that even with, with the head-to-head head -head victory, you know, I mean, yeah. but just the, the fact that this group has grown so much since that experience in Durango, really, yes. I mean, that was kind of the only hiccup in an otherwise, you know, yeah. Mona Lisa of a season that you ladies have put together, but I mean, just how much was it just about getting better each day, but also kind of keeping one eye on the fact that it's like, we, we will see them again. Like you even told my colleague Alex that day at Dave Moe's, like we will see them again. Like, so how much was it about like just the short term, you know, improvement, uh, respecting, you know, Tory Pines and everybody else, you know, in your own section, but saying like, whether it's going to be a regional, you know, yeah. semis or finals, we're going to see them again. Thankfully, it's going to be in our gym. But yeah. it, I mean, like, I mean, just how, uh, how, how important was it just to stay day to day until this, this day arrived? Mm -hmm. We knew that we'd have to play them again when we played them in Dave Moe's. And when we played them in Dave Moe's, they didn't have Wesley, their outside, and um, their other outside was partially hurt. And so we knew we weren't at their best. They weren't at their best. Um, but we were able to get the W, and we knew that we still had a lot of work to do and that they were going to get better, so we would have to get better. And we just worked throughout the season. We used our league games, our other tournaments to just get better, and um, I think it really paid off tonight. As a, as a woman that obviously knows that she's going to face two and three blockers all the time, how... If, if at all, I mean, it didn't seem like the scheme was drastically different, but just the respect that you have to offer when both Wesley and Laley are on the floor at the same time. Like, what, you know, what, did, what did that look like from a, from a defensive scheme? I mean, ultimately, you can only control the, being the best version of May and being yeah. the best version of Cathedral Catholic, but just what did you ladies really have to be aware of and respect with both of them on the court tonight? Um, defensively, I think blocking, we really wanted to prioritize two of their hitters, and um, usually it was the middle and one of their pins, and I think that really helped us, and we were one-on-one -on -one with one of their hitters, but like that's a sacrifice you have to make if you want to get touches on their best hitters. Um, I think it really worked for us. Um, we were able to shut down um, their pins a lot, and yeah. Drive up! That was quite a unique, almost like there was like a pregnant pause before it was like, okay, was that officially the end? Like, what what was it like in that split one or two seconds? Like, did like did the match just end? Do we yeah. get to celebrate or like what's going on? Yeah, I saw three up and I just wanted to swing. Um, I knew there was probably a chance I'd get blocked and then I saw it go down and I, I knew it was on their side, but I think a lot of people did it and they were kind of like, what's going on? And then I looked at the ref and I pointed and I was like, that's their side and they pointed to us and then it was so amazing. But yeah, it was a little scary for a moment. But the fact that, I mean, I'm sure you probably visualized that moment. Like this, is the, this is the last time you're at least going to play a competitive match in, the, in this gym. Yeah. You, want, you want that yeah. set, even if it's against you know, three blockers, yeah. you know, with the match on the line, to set you, set you to a state championship. Like, how, how much have you thought about a moment like that in your career? So many times. I think before this game, um, honestly, I didn't know if we'd be able to get them. Um, they've been playing really good recently. Um, but I think just going out aggressive, this is our last game at home, my last game ever here at home and just going out swinging, no regrets, just um, being the most aggressive version of myself. Last thing, you know, and this group knows what it means, you know, to, uh, to call yourself state champions, but, uh, but I mean, obviously, it, it's another thing, especially in this era in, in California, especially in Southern California, in the Southern Regional, like, we had the last two state champions, last two national champions on the court tonight. Mm -hmm. The staying power of this group, have another opportunity to play for you know for, for a state title like how powerful is that um, i think it's so powerful i mean winning this is amazing enough i mean the southern region is so powerful um but being able to play for that state title against the northern teams is another opportunity and i think um it's important that we prepare for this weekend we can't take anything for granted we have to be prepared for the northern teams awesome may uh congratulations uh, phenomenal way to end here but i know you want the ultimate end Orange County was good to you ladies on September yes. 7th, so let's have it be good on November 23rd as well. Congrats to you and Thank the group. You.